Hey guys, it's Philippa Hanna and welcome to Inspiration 365, 365 days of inspiration for what I hope will be your best ever year. Today I'm going to be answering your questions again because guess what? Last time I sat down to do this there were too many questions and I spent too long talking nonsense to actually answer them all. So here we go. This is a question from Jess Haywood. She says, what is the most embarrassing slash funniest thing that has ever happened to you? There are a couple of things. I'm saving one of them for a later video, but ever have that feeling that everyone can see your underwear? Well. That actually happened to me once. It was Christmas Eve and I was playing a social club and the worst part of it is my dad was not only in the audience but he was actually in the show. So he'd gone on before me and I was to go on after and I just thought I was just so prepared. I had this lovely red dress on that was too layered and I went out in front of everyone and thought, wow, I've really got the crowd tonight. They're really listening. They're really interested in what I'm saying and singing. <sighs> Unfortunately, the bottom layer of the dress was tucked way up here um, around my waist. So the whole club, I could see my underwear. The worst part of it was my dad had to help me out and untuck me like I was a four-year-old girl. So that was pretty embarrassing. Kerry White says, if someone who'd never met you before and knew nothing about you asked you to introduce yourself to them by playing only one of your songs, which of your songs would you pick and why? I think I would pick Arrow, which is now playing. I would pick Arrow because that song is, is similar to songs like I Am Amazing and Happy In My Skin, but it has this kind of arch in it of feeling low and then picking myself up. And that's kind of the way life goes for me. I go through these periods of feeling quite low and then I write a song or I find a way of creatively lifting myself out of it. So it's a song about learning to be who you are and finding the thing that brings you to life. So yeah, Arrow. Richard Jessup says, how many bolts were used on the Eiffel Tower? I don't know, but I do know that I couldn't find the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> when I went on tour with Little Mix, we went to France and uh, we took a walk, we followed the maps, we got on a train, never found it. I think it's smaller than it looks on the postcards. Cy Foster says, how do you feel about singers like Britney, Miley, JLo and Mariah? Good question, Cy Foster. I used to love Britney. Britney was just the pop princess. Mariah, obviously an incredible vocalist. I think Mariah seems like she's in a bit of a world of her own. Mariah's world. Miley, I'm glad she's gone back to her country roots. And JLo, all you can say is she looks the same as she did in the 90s, so she must be doing something right. Peter Davis says, if swimming is so good for you, then why are whales so fat? Fat is not a politically correct term, Peter Davis. Douglas Mateta, Douglas Mateta? Mateta? Douglas Mateta. Douglas, who looks very suave in his uh, picture, says, how do I join your band? That's a really good question. I have about six musicians that I work with and they're kind of on rotation. By all means, send me some stuff. Leah Collins says, if you could own any bag in the world, what would it be and what colour? Bag. Bag. I don't really collect bags. I'm not that kind of collector of bags kind of girl. I'm more of a sequence person. But if I could own any bag, I would own Santa's sack. Sorry, just had a pizza break. Natty says, how do you keep true to yourself and stop yourself from saying things you shouldn't to a person that is saying bad things to you or others and lying about situations. It sounds like you're having a hard time and it's really, really hard to take the high ground when people are being unfair or singling you out. My only advice, and it helps me a lot, is to always remember whatever's going on won't be going on forever. This is a temporary situation. Everything is temporary, but in terms of being in a workplace that you're not thriving in, that can change. It really can. I think the most important thing is to hold your head high, know that you're a good person, and don't allow anyone to pull you down so you become a worse version of yourself. I think when it comes to rumors and things like that, my experiences is best to just completely ignore them because they don't deserve your time. And keep your chin up because you're amazing. Richard says, what if this is as good as it gets? good movie, I don't know if you've seen that. I don't know if that's a serious question or a silly question. If it's a serious question, I would say, hopefully it's not as bad as you think it is. But honestly, life can always get better, but it sometimes takes us to adjust our point of view, to realize how blessed we are. I'm guilty of wanting more, and I'm guilty of feeling bored. I'm guilty of all of those things, but sometimes I have to stop and look around and go, you know what, it ain't that bad. Trudy says, who's your favorite member of Little Mix? Beth says, funny one, do you ever create a name for your cars? I don't have any cars, but I do name like inanimate objects. Like this one, for instance, I named this Alfie. Carolina says, what is the most beautiful thing in the world? Have you ever seen anything more beautiful than this? 
Seriously though, I think the most beautiful thing in the world is kindness. Kindness puts out all kinds of fires. When I've gone overseas to take part in charity work, I work with compassion and I work with the leprosy mission, the people who look after those who are sick, poor, rejected by society, they are the most beautiful people I've ever met. Beauty just shines out of them, kindness. Joanna Jones says, have you ever eaten a Smarty sandwich? The chocolate Smarties? No. Zoe Hannah says, how do you pick yourself back up after a job rejection, etc? Well, Zoe, I'm going to be doing a lot about rejection in February, but I'll give you a short answer. You just have to remember that, like Dita Von Tees said, you could be the sweetest peach in all of the world, but you'll always find someone who doesn't like peaches. Just because that job wasn't right for you and you weren't a good fit, doesn't mean you won't find a place in life. Naomi says, if you were sent to live on a deserted island for a month and could only take three luxury items, what would you choose to take? Does a dog count as a luxury item? I would say it's more of a necessity. I would take my guitar, a jar of peanut butter, my phone, to watch YouTube. Mind you, the Bible. The Bible, of course. I love how the Bible was so far down the list. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I know I didn't get to all the questions again, but they just came in like so quickly and I'm just so thankful that you're engaging with what I'm doing. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And guess what? I'm going on tour this year, so if you want to come and see me play live, go to the link in the description, philipahanna.com, and hopefully I'll see you all soon. Over and out. Sorry, I think I'll start that one again.